Most people don't know these 28 brilliant benefits and uses for hydrogen peroxide. By Andrea Harper and Dr. Akila L. Hydrogen peroxide is the only germicidal agent composed only of water and oxygen. Like ozone, it kills disease organisms by oxidacio. Hydrogen peroxide is considered the world's safest all-natural effective sanitizer. It kills microorganisms by oxidizing them, which can be best described as a controlled burning process. When hydrogen peroxide reacts with organic material it breaks down into oxygen and water. White and clothes an alternative to bleach. Add a cup of peroxide to white clothes in your laundry to whiten them. Peroxide is great to get rid of blood stains on clothes and carpets. If there is blood on clothing, just pour directly on the spot, let it sit for about a minute, then rub and rinse with cold water. Repeat if necessary. Health. Your body makes hydrogen peroxide to fight infection which must be present for our immune system to function correctly. White blood cells are known as leukocytes. A subclass of leukocytes called eutrophils produce hydrogen peroxide as the first line of defense against toxins, parasites, bacteria, viruses and yeast. Rejuvenating Detoxifying Bath Use about 2 quarts 3% hydrogen peroxide to a tub of warm water. Soak at least a half hour, add in hot water as needed to maintain a comfortable water temperature. Foot Fungus To cure foot fungus Simply spray a 50 50th mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water on them, especially the toes, every night and let dry. Douche. Add two capfuls of 3% hydrogen peroxide in warm distilled water once to twice a week to remove even chronic yeast infections. Colloic or enema. For a colloic, add one cup, eight ounces. 3% H2O2 to five gallons warm water. Do not exceed this amount. For an enema, add 1 tablespoon of 3% H2O2 to a quart of warm distilled water. Infections Soak any infections or cuts in 3% for 5 to 10 minutes several times a day. Even gangrene that would not heal with any medicine has been healed by soaking in hydrogen peroxide. Put half a bottle of hydrogen peroxide in your bath to help rid boils, fungus or other skin infections. Bird mite infections Patients infected by tiny mites report that hydrogen peroxide effectively kills the mites on their skins. They spray it on their skin a couple of times, with a few minutes in between the applications, with amazing results. Sinus infections A tablespoon of 3% hydrogen peroxide added to one cup of non-chlorinated water can be used as a nasal spray. Depending on the degree of sinus involvement, one will have to adjust the amount of peroxide used. Wound care. 3% H2O2 is used medically for cleaning wounds, removing dead tissue, and as an oral debriding agent. Peroxide stops slow, small vessel, wound bleeding forward slash using, as well. Some sources recommend soaking infections or cuts for 5 to 10 minutes several times a day. However, washing and rinsing action is sufficient. You shouldn't leave the solution on open tissue for extended periods of time as, like many oxidative antiseptics, hydrogen peroxide causes mild damage to tissue in open wounds. Therefore it is important to use with caution. Personal care. Mouthwash forward slash tooth care. Healing properties. Take one cap full, the little white cap that comes with the bottle, and hold in your mouth for 10 minutes daily, then spit it out. You will not have canker sores and your teeth will be whiter. If you have a terrible toothache and cannot get to a dentist right away, put a cap full of 3% hydrogen peroxide into your mouth and hold it for 10 minutes several times a day. The pain will lessen greatly. Mouthwash, many people don't realize that hydrogen peroxide makes a very effective and inexpensive mouthwash. Use 3% H2O2 add a dash of liquid chlorophyll for flavoring if desired. Toothpaste, use baking soda and add enough 3% H2O2 to make a paste. Or, just dip your brush in 3% H2O2 and brush. Soak your toothbrush in hydrogen peroxide to keep them free of germs. Toothbrush. Soaking your toothbrush in hydrogen peroxide will help keep them free of harmful germs. 
Toothache, hydrogen peroxide is not a painkiller, however, as an antiviral, antibacterial and a tifungal agent, it is effective at treating the pathogen that is causing the infection. The following is from my own personal experience, my dentist wanted to give me a root canal some time ago as one tooth was inflamed and, in her opinion, would die. I felt some discomfort but told her that I would give it chance to heal. I rinsed with hydrogen peroxide, several times a day, as well as coconut oil, once a day. The discomfort went away and I have had no further problems with the tooth. Tooth whitening, having used 3% hydrogen peroxide as a mouthwash for some time, I am thrilled to note that my teeth have been beautifully and effortless whitened. I used to pay so much for professional whitening, those silly strips and uncomfortable trays. Live and learn. Note. Do not swallow any peroxide. When the peroxide rinse is done, be sure to rinse out your mouth with water. Colloic or enema. For a colloic, add 1 cup, 8 ounces. 3% H2O2 to 5 gallons warm water. Do not exceed this amount, for an enema, add 1 tablespoon of 3% H2O2 to a quart of warm distilled water. Hair lightening. Peroxide is a bleaching agent and is used for lightened hair. Dilute 3% hydrogen peroxide with water, 50 fiftieths, and spray the solution on your wet hair after a shower and comb it through. You will not have the peroxide burnt blonde hair like the hair dye packages, but more natural highlights if your hair is a light brown, faddish, or dirty blonde. It also lightens gradually so it's not a drastic change. Contact lenses Hydrogen peroxide is used as a disinfectant in Supervision's Clear Care No Rub Contact Lens Cleaning Solution, due to its ability to break down the proteins that build up on the lens from the eye's immune response, resulting in increased comfort for those with sensitive eyes. Sanitizing forward slash disinfectant forward slash cleaning. Straight or diluted hydrogen peroxide. Clean your counters and tabletops with hydrogen peroxide to kill germs and leave a fresh smell. Simply put a little on your dish rag when you wipe, or spray it on the counters. Use hydrogen peroxide to clean glass and mirrors with no smearing. Keep a spray bottle of 3%, straight, to disinfect the interior of the refrigerator and kids' school lunch boxes. In the dishwasher, add 2 ounce of 3% hydrogen peroxide to your regular washing formula. Fill a spray bottle with a 50 50 mixture of 3% hydrogen peroxide and water and keep it in every bathroom to disinfect without harming your septic system like bleach or most other disinfectants will. After rinsing off your wooden cutting board, pour or spray hydrogen peroxide, and then vinegar, on it to kill salmonella and other bacteria. I use peroxide to clean my mirrors with, there is no smearing. Combination of vinegar and hydrogen peroxide make a cheap, effective and non-toxic disinfectant agent and is said to be more effective at killing pathogens than bleach. As it is non-toxic, you can use it to disinfect fruits and vegetables, as well as pet toys, equipment and cages. In tests run at Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University, pairing vinegar and hydrogen peroxide mists kills virtually all salmonella, shigella, or E. coli bacteria on heavily contaminated food and surfaces. Directions You need two spray bottles. Do not mix the solutions together. Put straight vinegar in one and straight hydrogen peroxide in the other spray bottle. Note, light destroys peroxide rather quickly. It's best to leave it in its original bottle and screw in a spray head. Do not dilute them. Remember for any setizer to work properly, the surface has to be clean before you use it. When you want to setize a surface, vegetables, cutting board, counters, sink, cages, toys toilets, floors, etc., spray one, it doesn't matter which one you use first, on the surface, then you spray on the other. When they mix, for a brief time the chemical action of the two make a very powerful sanitizer. You can rinse off the surface afterwards, if you want, but the result is non-toxic. Fortunately it is cheap. BTW, we use it in the bathroom to sanitize the counters, toilets, floors, etc. Sanitizing drinking water. Mold. 
clean with hydrogen peroxide when your house becomes a biohazard after it's invaded by toxic mold, such as those with water damage. Humidifiers forward slash steamers. Use 1.3% hydrogen peroxide to 1 gallon of water. Laundry forward slash stain removing. Stain remover. 3% hydrogen peroxide is the best stain lifter if used fairly soon although blood stains as old as 2 days have been successfully lifted with hydrogen peroxide. Although it will bleach or discolor many fabrics. If a little peroxide is poured onto the stain it will bubble up in the area of the blood, due to a reaction with catalase. After a few minutes the excess liquid can be wiped up with a cloth or paper towel and the stain will be gone. 3% H2O2 must be applied to clothing before blood stains can be accidentally set with heated water. Cold water and soap are then used to remove the peroxide treated blood. Washing forward slash laundry. You can also add a cup of hydrogen peroxide instead of bleach to a load of whites in your laundry to whiten them. If there is blood on clothing, pour directly on the soiled spot. Let it sit for a minute, then rub it and rinse with cold water. Repeat if necessary. Peroxide is a perfect alternate solution to keep those clothes white. Also, when chlorinating clothes, they tend to wear out faster peroxide won't do that. Food preparation. Vegetable soak. Use as a vegetable wash or soak to kill bacteria and neutralize chemicals. Add a quarter cup 3% H2O2 to a full sink of cold water. Soak light skinned, light lettuce, 20 minutes, thicker skinned, like cucumbers, 30 minutes. Drain, dry and refrigerate. Prolongs freshness. If time is a problem, spray vegetables and fruits with a solution of 3%. Let stand for a few minutes, rinse and dry. Meat sanitizing. You can also use it to rinse off your meat before cooking. Leftover tossed salad. Spray with a solution of a half cup water and 1 TBSP 5%. Drain, cover and refrigerate. Marinade. Place meat, fish or poultry in a casserole, avoid using aluminum pans. Cover with a dilute solution of equal parts of water and 3% H2O2. Place loosely covered in refrigerator for a half hour. Rinse and cook. Sprouting seeds. Add 1 ounce 3% hydrogen peroxide to 1 pint of water and soak the seeds overnight. Add the same amount of hydrogen peroxide each time you rinse the seeds. Grades of hydrogen peroxide. 3.5% pharmaceutical grade, this is the grade sold at your local drugstore or supermarket. This product is not recommended for internal use. It contains an assortment of stabilizers which shouldn't be ingested. Various stabilizers include, acetanilide, phenol, sodium start and tetrasodium phosphate. B. 6% beautician grade, this is used in beauty shops to color hair and is not recommended for internal use. C. 30% reagent grade, this is used for various scientific experimentation and also contains stabilizers. It is also not for internal use. D. 30% to 32% electronic grade, this is used to clean electronic parts and not for internal use. E. 35% technical grade, this is a more concentrated product than the reagent grade and differs slightly in that phosphorus is added to help neutralize any chlorine from the water used to dilute it. F. 35% food grade, this is used in the production of foods like cheese, eggs, and whey containing products. It is also sprayed on the foil lining of aseptic packages containing fruit juices and milk products. This is the only grade recommended for internal use. G. 90%, this is used as an oxygen source for rocket fuel. Only 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide is recommended for internal use. At this concentration, however, hydrogen peroxide is a very strong oxidizer and if not diluted, it can be extremely dangerous or even fatal. Any concentrations over 10% can cause neurological reactions and damage to the upper gastrointestinal tract. There have been two known fatalities in children who ingested 27% and 40% concentrations of H2O2.
Another report tells of a 26-month-old female who swallowed one mouthful of 35% H2O2. She immediately began vomiting, followed by fainting and respiratory arrest. Fortunately, she was under emergency room care and although she experienced erosion and bleeding of the stomach and esophagus, she survived the incident. When she was re-examined 12 days later, the areas involved had healed, J toxical cle toxical 90, 28, 1, IFE 5 to 100. Personal note, as with any food, drug, or supplement, using the product according to instructions is key to safety. If someone uses too much, then of course ramifications may be felt. We've never heard of any harmful side effects from the correct usage of food-grade hydrogen peroxide in dire cases of disease. Intravenous use may be recommended. If you would like to find a doctor in your area trained in the use of intravenous H2O2 infusion, contact the International Biooxidative Medicine Foundation, IBM, PO Box 1325, Oklahoma City, OK 73113 at 405-478-4266. They can provide names and addresses of doctors using the procedure in your area. 35% food grade H2O2 must be 1. Handled carefully, direct contact will burn the skin immediate flushing with water is recommended. 2. Diluted properly before use. 3. Stored safely and properly, after making a dilution the remainder should be stored tightly sealed in the freezer. One of the most convenient methods of dispensing 35% H2O2 is from a small glass eyedropper bottle. These can be purchased at your local drugstore. Fill this with the 35% H2O2 and store the larger container in the freezer compartment of your refrigerator until more is needed. Store the eyedropper bottle in the refrigerator. The generally recommended dosage is outlined in the chart below. The drops are mixed with either 6 to 8 ounces of distilled water, juice, aloe vera juice or gel. Don't use chlorinated tap water to dilute the peroxide. Source, http colon double forward slash decaquila.com From Mercola.com Hydrogen peroxide for colds and flu. Email from Wendy Fifth, subscriber. Brush, Colorado. Thanks to one of your articles in your newsletter about using peroxide in the ears for flu or colds, my family and I have had a relatively flu forward slash cold free winter. We have been exposed to a serious flu in our area, but have managed to dodge it. Here are some specifics. My six year old son had kept me up during one night with coughing and sneezing. By noon the next day he had a fever. I then remembered recently reading in your newsletter about using three drops of peroxide in each ear for 10 minutes. You should have seen his face when I told him I was going to put peroxide in his ears. He was nervous, but soon settled down. It bubbled a lot in both ears. I did only one treatment in each ear, and from then on, his fever went away and his symptoms were reduced to the sniffles. That night he slept well, as did mom. The cold did not return. Next came myself. About a week later I felt like my head was in a fog, a familiar fog that is a sure sign I am going to get sick with a bad cold or flu. I used the peroxide treatment in each ear and went to bed about an hour early. The next morning I felt fantastic. Not a trace of illness. Again about a week after I had felt something coming on, my husband started feeling up. I told him about the peroxide and he looked at me skeptically. But he tried it. And it worked. He works for the school district in the bus shop and is around the drivers, who are around all those kids passing germs about, frequently. At the same time my 10 year old son who is rarely sick said he didn't feel well. I wasn't sure if he was saying that because he felt left out. The peroxide treatment aroused his interest, or if he really was coming down with something. So, I gave him a treatment, not seeing that any harm would come of it. He had strong bubbling on one side. He soon felt better and did not become ill. The peroxide has been used a few other times on all of us with almost amazing results. There was a different result in one case, which had to do with myself. It had been a couple of weeks from my first use of the peroxide on myself. 
I came home from our local library book sale, which was held in the basement. I quickly became ill, as if allergic to something in the basement, of which this was my first time down there. By the next morning I had a full-fledged cold and felt awful. I tried the peroxide. Although I had to repeat the peroxide treatment about every four hours, the peroxide alone relieved my symptoms. I was a bit tired, but other than that, no sneezing, coughing, fever, etc. After about four hours I would feel pressure building in my head, especially the ears, and I would begin to get quite cranky. Then I would use the peroxide again and be much better. The peroxide allowed me to maintain my schedule of homeschooling the boys and doing my chores. It worked better than anything I have tried over the years and had no side effects. A few notes, the peroxide feels like ice when it is dropped into the ear. It usually did not sting. The hardest thing for me to get used to was the tickling of the bubbles. Thank you again for the information on peroxide for flus and colds. This wife and mom has had many peaceful nights thanks to you. Thank you also for all the fantastic information that you pass along in your newsletter. If it weren't for you, how would we know of these things? Last fall I started using EFT and am very pleased with the results and that I have such a useful tool for others and myself. I learn it of it through you. You have made a difference in many lives. By Dr. Merkula. You probably know that I don't advise over-the-counter medications in general but the hydrogen peroxide treatment referred to by Wendy Fry in the above email she sent to me is surprisingly effective against upper respiratory infections. Many patients at my clinic have had remarkable results in curing colds and flu within 12 to 14 hours when administering a few drops of 3% hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, into each ear. This is really easy to do. All you need to do is use regular hydrogen peroxide that you purchase for about $1 in nearly any pharmacy or grocery store. It is not necessary to dilute it. What I do is take the cap off the bottle and fill the cap with peroxide. This is about the amount that fills your ear canal. You will hear some bubbling, which is completely normal, and possibly feel a slight stinging sensation. Wait until the bubbling and stinging subside, usually 5 to 10 minutes then drain onto a tissue or the sink and repeat with the other ear. A bottle of hydrogen peroxide in 3% solution is available at any drug store for a couple of dollars or less. This seems to be effective about 80% of the time, especially if done when your symptoms first appear. If you fail to start it as soon as the symptoms appear it will likely not work. In 1928, Richard Simmons, MD hypothesized that colds and flu viruses enter through your ear canal, as opposed to your nose and throat. But his findings were dismissed by the medical community. Then in 1938, German researchers had great success using hydrogen peroxide for treating colds and the flu. But their data has been ignored for over 60 years. Of course. The best way to treat a cold is to not get one in the first place. And the key to preventing colds is to keep your immune system strong and healthy. Prevention of colds is the key. Cold viruses are all around you, living on your computer keyboard, coffee mugs, door handles and other objects for hours, so coming into contact with them is part of daily living. However, the key to remember is that just being exposed to a cold virus does not mean you'll catch a cold. If your immune system is operating at its peak, it should actually be quite easy for you to fend off those viruses without getting sick. On the other hand, if your immune system is impaired, they'll easily take hold in your body. The major reasons your immune system becomes weakened and you come down with a cold are Eating too much sugar and too many grains Not getting enough rest Inadequately managing your stress Inadequate exercise Vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency, a major risk factor for catching a cold. It's estimated that the average U.S. adult typically has two to four colds each year, while children may have up to 12. One reason for the widespread prevalence may be that vitamin D deficiency is incredibly common in the United States, especially during the winter months when cold and flu viruses are at their peak. Research has confirmed that catching colds and flu may actually be a symptom of an underlying vitamin D deficiency. 
The research is quite clear, less than optimal vitamin D levels will significantly impair your immune response and make you far more susceptible to contracting colds, influenza, and other respiratory infections. Vitamin D is an amazingly effective antimicrobial agent, producing 200 to 300 different antimicrobial peptides in your body that kill bacteria, viruses, and fungi. The best source for vitamin D is direct sun exposure. But for many of us, this just isn't practical during the winter. The next best option to sunlight is the use of a safe indoor tanning device. If neither natural nor artificial sunlight is an option, then using oral vitamin D3 supplements is your best bet. If you wish to take an oral vitamin D3 supplement, follow my dose recommendations, based on the latest scientific research. The only way to establish that you are taking your optimal dose is to get your blood tested. Ideally, you'll want to maintain a vitamin D level of 50 to 70 ing per milliliter year-round. For an in-depth explanation of everything you need to know about vitamin D, please refer to my free 1-hour vitamin D lecture. How you can get well faster. Most uncomplicated colds last between 8 and 9 days, but about 25% last 2 weeks and 5 to 10% last 3 weeks. Even the most stubborn colds will typically resolve in a few weeks time. This is actually one of the ways you can distinguish a cold from allergies. A cold will last at most a few weeks, but allergy symptoms can last all season. A slight fever will actually help you to feel better sooner. Cold viruses cannot reproduce at higher body temperatures. Therefore, Popping over-the-counter cold remedies or fever reducers is counterproductive to recovering quickly. In fact, as long as your temperature remains below 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 38.9 degrees Celsius, there is no need to lower it. Avoid taking over-the-counter painkillers as well as they tend to suppress your body's natural antibody production. One of the most effective ways to prevent spread of infection is to practice good hand-washing techniques, without overdoing it. Overwashing can lead to cracked skin, which is counterproductive. Use plain soap and water, not antibacterial cleansers, which can lead to resistant bacteria, or superbugs. For specific dietary strategies, including natural supplements, for cold prevention and treatment, refer to my comprehensive article about combating colds and flu. When should you call your physician? Remember that antibiotics are completely ineffective against cold and flu viruses, so avoid them, they will do more harm than good. Sinus, ear, and lung infections, bronchitis and pneumonia, on the other hand are examples of bacterial infections that do respond to antibiotics. If you develop any of the following symptoms, these are signs you may be suffering from a bacterial infection rather than a cold virus, and you should call your physician's office. Fever over 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 38.9 degrees Celsius. Ear pain. Pain around your eyes, especially with a green nasal discharge. Shortness of breath or a persistent uncontrollable cough. Persistently coughing up green and yellow sputum. Generally speaking, if you have a cold, medical care is not necessary. Rest and attention to the lifestyle factors noted above will help you to recover quickly and, if you stick to them, will significantly reduce your chances of catching another one anytime soon. Source, Mercola.com HTTP colon double forward slash articles dot com forward slash sites forward slash articles forward slash archive forward slash 2002 forward slash 03 forward slash 13 forward slash hydrogen dash peroxide dash part dash 1 dot ASPX HTTP colon double forward slash www dot rayarpharmacy dot com forward slash 28 dash brilliant dash benefits dash uses dash hydrogen dash peroxide